Jeremiah Johnson, who was one of the top prophets who had said that Trump would win the 2020 election, all of a sudden now has complete, taken a complete turn in the opposite direction. We're going to get into all the comments he had to say right off the top, guys. Let me mention, I'm now over on Rumble. I encourage you guys, go subscribe to my Rumble page. The link is in the description. Subscribe as quick as you can. We were recently demonetized completely here on YouTube. We lost all of our revenue. So Rumbles are back up. We're uploading over there now as well. Because we lost our revenue, guys, we need your help now more than ever to help support the ministry. A couple different ways you could do so. One is through PayPal, the PayPal link down below. You could do either a one-time donation or you could do a monthly donation. They're both a great blessing to us. Or you could sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. The Patreon link is down there below as well. On Patreon, though, you'll get access to all my bonus content, my podcast where I talk more about sensitive information, and we're including the links to the YouTube videos there because YouTube's not always alerting you for when the new content goes out. Patreon will, so it's a great way just to make sure you don't miss any of what I put out there. I highly recommend it. Now, all that being said, guys, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Let's talk about Jeremiah Johnson. It was back on January 7th. He came out, this is the day after the DC incident took place, where he issued his apology. His apology for saying that Trump would win the election. He said that I was wrong. I, I missed it. You know, I thought God was telling me one thing and just it, it wasn't the case. I did a video on that back when he made that announcement. And I said at the time that, look, if God told you something, he told you something. Don't be afraid to retract because you're worried about pressure and what people are saying about you. You don't worry about what other people think. You worry about what God thinks. Now, let's put that over here to the side for a second. We now fast forward up to where we are today. Jeremiah Johnson now taking things a step further, saying, demanding, in fact, the prophetic movement repent for its idolatry of Trump. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold the phone, ladies and gentlemen. The man himself prophesied that Trump would win. Now, all of a sudden, wait, wait, how did we go from him making a simple apology to now saying we all treated Trump as an idol? That sounds like all those other pastors out there that came out after the election, everything like this, it all said, that, oh, we've, we've just been idolizing Trump. We've been idolizing him. I, I don't know why I'm talking like that, but I mean, <laughs> they did. And I talked about them at the time as well. I think because they took it as an opportunity that shame on you Christians for daring to support a man that stands up for religious liberty, that stood up for life, that stood up for everything that was centered around the word of God to the best of his ability. And those pastors were jealous. Let's face it. A lot of them were very jealous over Trump, the fact that people were supporting him, maybe weren't paying as much attention to their pastors at the time. And then they tried to make Christians feel guilty for voting for him. Why? You knew what the alternative was going to be. And guess what? You got him, well, at least for now. But now Jeremiah Johnson is on that same bandwagon too, saying that this is dangerous, idolizing Trump, that you're following a false movement of prophets here. A false unity around these prophets and politicians. That you're supporting them. He went in and condemned the prophets that still haven't come out and issued an apology. Or that haven't repented yet. They continue to stand on what God told them. Jeremiah Johnson said that's absolutely ridiculous. He said there's no reason for them to be standing still on that. Because it's obvious God didn't tell them that. Someone got a hold of Johnson. Let me tell you this right now. This guy used to be such a vocal supporter of, of Trump. And now he's completely gone the other way. He's, he's on like the left side at this point, pointing the finger and saying, how dare you do this? And how dare you? You're all idolatry. What? No, 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 Jeremiah, Jeremiah, we're not idolaters towards Trump. We supported him because he stuck up for Christians. Again, for all the reasons that I already mentioned, if you're embarrassed about your prophecy or you're embarrassed maybe that you apologize and now you just feel that, well, you can't go back, so now you just got to ride this wave and start criticizing everybody else, well, then that's on you. But to come at Christians and go against the prophets and for those that didn't repent, just because you did, you don't have to be like you. You're not some leader. 
that we all need to look to. You either hear from God or you don't. Here's the thing. God can do whatever he wants. God could play it out however he wants to play it out. And Johnson, he dismissed all of the theories on what may or may not have happened during the election. Said, for all the reasons that people are saying, he's saying, come on, that didn't happen. What you're saying happened didn't really happen. You're holding on to a false hope. In fact, he even said that God gave us grace by not having Trump win because it exposed the charismatics and it really just was able to humble us. He says that God has put a spirit of confusion on all of us now so that we can look more towards him and not a man. Whoever said we weren't, we weren't looking to God. See, these are just all his words. These are just all his words. He's just speaking for all Christians. Oh, we did. many of those Christians followed you, Johnson. They followed you. They were supporters of your ministry. They looked at you as somebody that really did hear from God. Who knows if that was really true or not? I don't know. Now, what happens with this whole uh, Trump and Biden thing remains to be seen. Like I said, God can do whatever he wants. He can do whatever he wants. There's cases that are now being presented to the Supreme Court. Is it going to make a difference? I don't know. If God truly said something, then he said something. The problem is you got people on both sides saying one thing and the other side saying another thing. So who's to be believed? How that's all going to work out again is on God. But let me just say this. As far as Johnson himself, because I'm, I'm trying to focus in on Johnson here as much as I can. To call us all idolaters of Trump, to me, is a coward move. That's where I'm trying to put the focus on here. You don't speak for us. Again, if you're embarrassed, that's on you. You don't speak for us. We supported the man. And a lot of us supported the man, not because of your prophecy, by the way. Some may have. But we looked at the policies of this man. Does it line up with scripture or does it not? We wanted to vote for a righteous leader, someone that was going to best represent us. We're not to just sit on the sidelines like a lot of people just say to do. So I'm sorry. I just, I don't have any respect for someone like Jeremiah Johnson. Uh, I just don't. Somebody who's completely now turned the other direction. He wants to point the finger at Christians and and blame us and go after other prophets and, and, and shame them for not apologizing. What is he, the post? He, he feels all special because he was one of the first. That's what it is, right? He was one of the first prophets to come out and issue his apology. Oh, I'm so sorry. I missed it. I missed it. I'm so sorry. You have no credibility, none whatsoever. Guys, let me just say this in closing, because as part of our ministry outreach, we are looking to bring people to Jesus Christ. That is the most important decision you know, you're ever going to make while you're here on this earth is to receive Christ. Now, Jeremiah Johnson was talking a lot about repenting. Well, I want to talk about repenting too, but in a little bit of a different way. Repenting of your sins. As part of accepting Christ, that's what we need to do. We need to repent of our sins. Repent means to turn from something, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is that may be counter to what the word of God says, That's how you repent. You ask the Lord to forgive you, and he will. And then you ask Jesus into your heart to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become a child of God. You are saved by grace. You will have eternal life with the Lord. And again, the greatest decision you're ever going to make. I pray you make that decision today if you haven't already. And please let us know down in the comment section if you did make that decision. Guys, if you'd like to take a look at all the links are down below. I'll put the link to Jeremiah Johnson, including a little video of him talking about this as well if you'd like to see that as well as links to help donate to our ministry if you're able to help that uh, it is a great blessing to us don't forget check me out on rumble as well rumble link down below thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i'll be back with more you guys take care please be safe out there god bless each and every single one of you and i'll talk with you soon